Get something oh, nice for yourself, yeah. You yeah. know, Tally actually, you know, I, I said earlier that everyone rated themselves from 1 to 10 on versatility and creativity. Tally actually gave himself a 10 out of 10 on versatility and a 10 out of 10 on creativity. So he had better bring the boom. Looks like Amaterasu has actually brought something even more interesting to Skeleton Barrel, but taking a ton of damage out the left. And Chad, what happened over there? Well, that balloon is going to go boom as it pops onto the floor. But guess what? Three minions, the three Muska minions, take care of all of that on the floor and the Hog Rider and the Poison on the left-hand side for Tally already pretty much took down an entire tower. Lava Hound on the right. Going to be interesting to see Lava Hound paired with the Skeleton Barrel. Open the door, but don't get on the floor. Don't rock the dinosaur. It's a Lava Hound instead being cloned out the right side. Terra into that poor Mega Knight. The Inferno Dragon now back, though, looking pretty mighty as the Lava Hound pops. It's Puffs doing a ton of damage to the right side tower, but not going to be able to pull off just as much damage as Amaterasu took out on the left. Looks like he will uh, be behind at the beginning here. Hold on, that's a lot of damage from the Mega Minion. It's not quite over yet for him, is it? No, he's got a ton of Elixir. Look at that, he's already full. He's got a seven Elixir advantage on Tally. The Tombstone comes down. The Lava Hound can come down now, and Tally is in trouble. And there it is, Lava Hound coming down. There's going to be, now that there's no poison from Tally, this Skeleton Barrel is gonna be a little bit stronger. It can even tank for the Lava Hound, then drop on the floor. You gotta zap it and then once you zap the the barrel you can easily clone and then you don't have a zap for that a lot of hound soaking out in front but he's gonna get taken down once again by inferno dragon a great counter from tally the unfortunate thing about this push though for him is that he still has to deal with the lava puffs on the backside inferno dragon can't do anything about that and the puffs have taken that right side tower down to 535 but look out the left side that push is looking pretty deadly as well zap takes out a big contingency of minions down to 1916. A Mega Knight gets the jump on the right side tower, though. Amaterasu in trouble as he's taken all the way to 1394. Yeah, beautifully played. Ice Bear gonna freeze all of the Lava Pups. Minions are coming down. The Night Witch not gonna be able to connect on the tower. The arrows come in, but the arrows really don't hit anything. Hog Rider coming in on the right-hand side from Tally. He is gonna try to take down the second tower. Only one shot. Oh! oh. Double Skeleton Barrel from the clone does manage to take the tower out, and we are going to be going into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Tally out the right side on his next wave of attack. It's got the Mega Knight getting awfully close to the tower. Night Witch to block from Amaterasu means that he's got a lot to play around with, though. Goblin's getting awfully close. I don't think that they're going to connect there in chat, but the Hog Rider certainly is. Right side takes two swings before going down. Yeah, and 496 left on the right-hand side. Lava Hound and Minions, though. Is the Mega Knight going to connect out of the tower? Does he have anything to play? Mega Knight going to explode on that tower. And there it is. Just didn't have the elixir after dropping the Lava Hound to deal with the Mega Knight in the corner pocket. Dave from Tally. Let's see uh, what happens to start it off. They're both sitting at 10 elixir. I call this... I call this the dance, you know okay. what I mean? It's like the dance, you know? It's like when you do the slow dance, you know, waiting to see who's gonna play first, and it looks like there's gonna be a hog runner on the right-hand side from oh, Tally. Oh, man, yeah, Tally just stepped on his opponent's uh, foot there. If we're to continue along with the dance metaphor, right side takes a couple swings from the Hog Rider and a defensive knight will soak some damage from the minions before getting a chance to uh, move in for his own attack. Looks like Amatoras is well set up on defense, though, to be able to rebuff this push. Yeah, Inferno Dragon comes down on the right-hand side, but the Executioner gonna easily shut this down. How Slice. Slice. Slice and dice. Ugh. Great well, splash damage, only loses one of the goblins out in front. He's got a pretty good chance against this Inferno Dragon as well, Tally adding on an Ice Spirit to be able to block for him. Hog Rider running out of that Inferno Dragon range, and it just has not got a chance to heat up. Oh, no. The poorly placed Tornado from Amaterasu. Terrible play means that he's not going to get that King Tower activated. Really unfortunate that he drops three Elixir that way. He's still in it, but that was a really, really uh, bad situation for him. Tally going to have to... Uh, Continue that line of attack, though, at the right side. The Executioner doesn't get a chance to lock on. Amaterasu, with plenty of Elixir to play around with, is going to add a Golem onto the right side. He's looking quite well uh, with this push, but it's not double Elixir time yet. He might not have enough to reach the tower in chat. What do you think? Well, there's the Tornado, and just as that happens, the Night Witch falls. The Bats fall. But the Baby Dragon uh -oh. trying to get value here. Is it going to connect on the tower? Yes, it is! Great value for the Baby Dragon. It looks like Tally played that Knight a little bit too close to the... Uh, uh, column there might have been uh, better off if he had kept that baby dragon off the tower because 
that was actually a huge counter push by Amaterasu and a relatively significant error once again, uh, this time by Tally though. So they're relatively close on the right side of the arena. 10.33 for Tally, 11.42 for Amaterasu. It's gonna be whoever can make better use of this double elixir time. Yeah, Hog Rider comes win. in on the right-hand side. It's going to get one swing, but the Goblins on the right get a ton of damage off, and that is in poison range. Executioner and Knight coming in on the right, and Amaterasu with 30 seconds left. This is going to be his last Golem push. He needs to get down this tower, and the tower is pretty healthy, sitting at 1033. Right side for Amaterasu will fall to this poison as the final push has been put together. Tornado pulls all those troops into a nice little clump, but Tally's got a tornado of his own bringing those dragons right within executioner range. Excellently done by Tally. Didn't even need the tower to engage those attacking troops. Amaterasu is out of it. Tally for the 2-0 victory has kicked him down. Oh no, the slice and dice. You have two executioners on the field. You just get off the tornado in time.